all day Wednesday on the BBC News Channel. This is BBC News, I'm Julian Morica. The headlines at 8 o'clock. Sir Philip Green categorically denies allegations of unlawful sexual or racist behaviour after being named in Parliament as the businessman who took out an injunction against the Daily Telegraph. I feel it's my duty under parliamentary privilege to name Philip Green as the individual in question, given that the media have been subject to an injunction preventing publication of the full details of a story. Police in the United States are investigating more suspicious packages, this time sent to the former Vice President Joe Biden and the actor Robert De Niro. Debenhams becomes the latest retailer to announce the closure of some of its high street stores, putting 4,000 jobs at risk. And the first year student who drank so much alcohol on a night out that his heart stopped, a coroner says freshers should be taught the dangers of binge drinking. And also coming up, a moment of history for the armed forces. Today, the Defence Secretary has announced that women will be able to apply for any British military role for the first time. And we take a look at the British company behind one of the most hotly anticipated games of the year, Red Dead Redemption 2. Hello, good evening and welcome to BBC News. The retail billionaire Sir Philip Green has been named in Parliament as the businessman behind an injunction against the Daily Telegraph, stopping it from publishing allegations about him. The owner of Topshop was named by the former Cabinet Minister, Lord Hayne. 